Uh, Robbie, uh, want to make a mile tomorrow? So far we've run two 800s, won both of them. Are you pretty happy with the way training's been going so far? Yeah, I'm very happy. You know, we're, we're definitely taking a long-term approach uh, this year. And um, I just, I, you know, I'm happy with the way things are going. It's been very consistent. You know, we've been doing a lot of over-distance stuff. My endurance is, is, where, is where I think it should be. And uh, the speed's coming along, so... Slow and steady. Um, you know, obviously it's a big year, an Olympic year. Did you, do you uh, how are you different than you were last year, given the fact that you finally made that first U.S. team and made all the way to the final, finals, the 1500? Yeah, you know, last year it was, it was kind of uh, not, it was just wild, you know. I don't know. I was, I was so happy with how it went, and, you know, I think having, having that experience, you know, I'm absolutely a better runner for it, and, uh, this year, I'm, I'm looking to kind of keep that momentum going, keep that ball rolling. Uh, the, the confidence is, is might be the biggest thing, you know. Being able to say that you made a world final, you know, that's you know for me that's that's great. You know, that's all I ever want is to make world Olympic finals. You know, and be, be able to be competitive in there. You know, I wasn't able to do that last year, but definitely has a fire burn in my belly right now. You know, I want to be in that final again, and I want to be competitive. Um. The, the mile indoors hasn't been something you necessarily excelled at. <laughs> I heard you say, well, tell, tell everyone what your, what your indoor mile PR is. So in high school I ran 412, and then as a 21-year-old I ran 411. <laughs> so now we're 24, almost 25. Yeah. Um, you know, why do you think you struggle with the mile indoors? Is, is it, do, do you think the 1500, being coming from the 800, is the 1500 a better event because it's shorter for you, or is it more of a mental thing, or what, what's going on there? Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't run it at all in college, um, and I honestly only ran it though, that like one or two times in high school. Um, it's just something that, like, I don't know if it's if it's where the training's at. You know, we're not really very very specific sharp yet. You know, or, or I don't know. It's for whatever reason it hasn't been great. Whether it's the expectations I'm putting on myself, or whether um, it's it's just me being in the wrong race. I don't know. But I think we're in a much better place than than uh, prior attempts, and um, you know, it's just looking to have some fun with it. You know, that's what the sport's all about. Having fun. So, what what is your race plan for tomorrow? Have fun, like I just said. Yeah. You know, uh, obviously it's it's going to be it's, you know it's a great field. You know, I'm so happy to be part of the, be part of the race. Um, just be competitive. You know, it's it's a great field. Um, you know, whether you. You know, you can the difference between a great race and a good race. You know, might be the difference between first and last. You know, um, so I'm just going to look to be to be as consistent as I, as I can be and just you know put forth my put forth my best effort. Are you going to work on you know not being so far back this year? I mean, is that one of the things or tomorrow? I mean, are you just going to get in the back, middle of the pack or go to the back like you normally do, or what's what's the plan? Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be right on the rabbit, but uh, we're just going to you know. We're still trying to figure it out, and uh, just gonna do what I'm comfortable with, and um, definitely keep pushing the envelope though, because you gotta be comfortable being uncomfortable, and uh, definitely want to practice being better, you know. And then after this, we're gonna go to USA for indoors. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what we're gonna run there, either 800 or a mile, uh, 1500. Um, you know, we'll kind of see how this race goes, and then uh, kind of talk with Vision, see what he thinks is best. So. You know, given the fact that it's an Olympic year, do you pretty much focus on yourself, or is it hard not to notice what other people are doing? You know, Andrew Weeding's sort of coming back. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, he, he edged you out last time for, for one of the Olympic spots. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's been running great. You know, a lot of guys have been running great. Um, and uh, you definitely want to be cognizant of what other people are doing, but at the same time, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's you got to be solely focused on yourself. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. You know, I need to be the best that I can be. It doesn't matter if all of a sudden five guys are running 326 and, you know, it's like that doesn't mean anything to me because I'm still going to do the same training. I'm still going to be the same person, the same athlete, and I'm just going to do the best I can do on that day. Um, and at USA's, do you think you'll do the 8 or the 15? For indoors, I'd like to do the 8, but if, uh, if, if the mile's going well, then we'll probably do the mile. Um, Vigil, Vigil have the plan, yeah. like always. So you, you said last week you guys were trying to hoping, hoping to maybe hit that 146.5 standard? Yeah, might have been a little too aggressive. Uh, we were out a little fast and ended up running 147.5. So um, a little disappointed with that, but um, again, you know, just slow and steady, you know, slowly chipping away. I think in another few weeks, you know, just being more race sharp, it, it'll go better. Um, and again, you know, just really looking forward to, the, to a positive outdoor season. All right, good luck. Thank you.